makes me smile when the girls can swing as high and as crazy as they want. And I feel good about it being secure. All right, is this gonna hold me? Let's test it out. I already did, I know it is. Totally gonna hold me. Let me touch my feet to the ceiling. So I got this yoga swing a couple years ago for my wife, but it's turned into a swing for our kids. And they're watching TV or just bored. They'll come over here and swing and they'll get so high they'll touch their toes on the ceiling. So when friends come over, they say, who'd you hire to install that? We want to do that. And uh, let me just tell you my thought process. Timberlock makes a version of a, this replaces a 3 8 inch lag bolt, which is what you attach um, your boards for decking. Anyway, super strong. This is an eight inch, they go up to 12. I went with six inch and I'll tell you why. So obviously I can't see inside the wall and I'm too lazy to rip it all apart. But in my head, I know I have a two by four widthwise at least here. So that's three and a half inches. Then I have a half inch drywall, half inch drywall. This is a load bearing wall. I know that because my ceiling joists go this way. So that weight is on top of this wall. So I'm assuming you should never assume there's some kind of header there. And man, I've seen some shady headers, but uh, anywhere from a two two by four sandwich, two by sixes, two by eights. I'm guessing it's a two by 10, maybe across there. Yeah, it's pretty solid when you knock on it. So because we have three and a half here, and your two by four thickness is an uh, inch and a half. Usually with a header, you have, you know, like your two by eight, half inch spacer, two by eight. Oh, and the other thing is I was too lazy to take the trim off, but normally there's a gap between this three quarter inch board, this one, and whatever's up there, your header uh, or whatever structure they have. So I don't know what size gap this is. So I had to be careful when I'm torquing this down to stop at this board because if I just use my impact and grrr, I would pull that board all the way up into whatever that gap is. So you, you want to be careful there. So I took straight center. I'm assuming the center of this is my half inch spacer, whatever headers up there. Again, header board, half inch spacer, header board. So I put this right in the center, took my six inch timber lock, zipped it up in there, but stopped when it was tight to this board, if that makes sense. And I would get, these are uh, tie downs for like load tie downs, D-ring. Get the heaviest, beefiest, rated highest one you can get. I think these are like 15, 1600 pound rated. I just wanted overkill, over engineer. And then, you know, if you're a parent hooking something like this up for your kid, just get it all done and then do a safety audit, you know, test it. Make sure it holds you good. I mean, really test it. The great thing too, you know, play time, swing, have fun, be safe. You know, but I'm trying to get in the kitchen. All you gotta do, move it over. Or, this was a simple dad solution for me. I was sick of like clipping it back and forth. Not a big deal for a normal person, but just tuck it in here. Pull down a little loop and big explosion behind me. Not going to look. But that's it. I hope that helps you with a little bit of confidence that there is structure up there and there's ways to find it without having to rip your whole wall off. Uh, you just can't see it, but you know, there's something there that you can lock it into. If you want to see more videos like this, like and subscribe. You know the hammer, you know the drill. <laughs> or that thing where you you spoof your dog no <laughs> I, I wanted to do legs out but i'm too chicken and i can't hold it i don't have a core but think about you know 250 pounds Right here, the amount of pressure that's swinging out. Sha! 
I didn't even feel it wobble, so I think we're golden. Well, I know we're golden. Nobody's died yet. I am the safety audit. I am OSHA swinging by huh, to make sure everything is up to code. So I always, if say I need it to hold 50 pounds, I'm going to have it hold 2,000 just because they're my babies. 